brush set dupe. <laughs> it is not the Artiste brushes, even though you're like, dang, those brushes look nice. They are not the real thing. If you're not familiar with the Artiste brush, they're kind of trendsetters for this toothbrush shaped brush. And they are crazy expensive because they're very high end and the gentleman who started them actually started with MAC Cosmetics. So, you know, he's kind of a big deal. These, on the other hand, are from Amazon. I went ahead and got the rose gold handled brushes because the fact that the main part of the brush and the handle are two different colors makes these look so much higher end than they really are. These brushes for how cheap they were to purchase are incredibly nice. I mean, they're very soft, very soft, very densely packed. This is actually the first time I'm using them, even the first time I'm really touching them. When I first got them, I did wash these. I highly recommend that you guys wash these brushes before you apply them to your face. A, they've been in a factory. B, they went through the mail system. And C, you don't know what kind of factory it came from because it's not a name brand like MAC or Sephora or Morphe. So just to play it safe, I recommend washing them so you don't get some type of weird breakout or ringworm. I read a horror story when I was looking at these brushes on a different brand that said, I got a ringworm from these brushes. So wash them first. I'm super excited, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my primer water. I'm really loving this stuff. It's just so easy. I wanted to start with a thick foundation. If you've never used the Kat Von D Locket foundation, it's very thick. Which one to use? There are 10 brushes here. Hmm, which one to use? I think I'm gonna go in with the second largest brush for my, hmm, wait, am I, am I, am I? Yes, second largest brush for the foundation. And I'm starting to run out of this. Hopefully we make it through. I do recommend, since these are plastic, unlike the actual brushes, putting a finger on the back to support it. Because it does feel, not flimsy, but it does feel a tiny bit fragile without putting my finger behind it to support it. Because also when I put on my makeup, like I don't, I don't mess around. The idea behind them is the fact that regular makeup brushes are really almost intended for use on other people. This one is actually angled towards your face. You're not out here trying to hold it. And even for the size of this brush, it's really easy to get into areas. It's nice for coming around the jawline. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that I have like no brush marks on my face, which is almost unheard of. The only thing that's a little bit concerning is the fact that it did thin down such a full coverage foundation so much that it really does make me nervous to use a thin foundation with it. I'm gonna go in and start contouring. I really wanna give these brushes a go. I'm gonna try to use all of them. NYX concealer. Um, I actually really like doing this. I like because it it's in a wand and it's really affordable. It's NYX Hello in great quality. The next brush down, this is the third largest size. And I'm going to blend that out and I'm going to try to keep it kind of angled. I think these will really blend it out and thin it out to where it's a much prettier and a much lighter coverage. And now I'm going to go in and just carve out my contour a little bit more. So I'm going to use the fourth largest size and my Coco Contour Palette. A little bit warm already. So I'm going to cool down where I want to carve out my contour. This is also, I think, gonna be a really nice size for that. So I'm just gonna dip it in the powder. This will be my first powder experience with this brush. We try to keep a light hold and a light amount of pressure so that you can blend out. This side's a little bit less dramatic, so I need to make them match. I'm feeling very chiseled right now. The smallest, thin, one that's almost like a slice. See how small that is? I'm gonna use that medium cocoa again. And now I'm gonna try to contour my nose. Oh my gosh. That is so easy to get a really nice, straight, defined line. Blend it a little bit with this. I'm gonna totally switch up the shape of my nose here. I wanna make it a little bit more squared. I don't like a super harsh nose contour. 
I don't know, it just like freaks me out. I'm like, oh, that's not what I look like. Um, and now I want to try my concealer because I realized I forgot to put on concealer. Darn it. The fifth largest size. These don't have names. <laughs> I think this will work really well. I'm using my unique concealer. It's a very thick concealer and very pigmented and it's very light so it looks really nice and brightening. So I'm going to dot it under my eye a bit just to thin it out. And then this is a really great size for getting under the eye. And I always put it on my eyelids because my eyelids are kind of patchy. This concealer goes such a long way. It's insane. I'm going to go in and just get that away from my mouth just a little bit. And dot a little bit on my chin, on my nose, and on my forehead. My forehead got a lot darker than I had wanted, so this will lighten it up. Just lighten it up just a little bit. I look like a skeleton right now. Look! <laughs> no worries. I'm not even scared. I'm gonna go back in with that one I contoured with earlier and just blend it a little bit. So it's a softer transition since I kind of forgot to put my concealer on in the right order. So far, kind of loving these brushes. I'm going to set with my Tarte Smooth Operator. I'm going to use the largest brush size. Pounce it onto my skin instead of rubbing so I don't totally get rid of that contour. Hmm. To now bronze or not bronze. I think I will bronze just a little tiny bit with my unique bronzer. I'm going to pat this brush. It's so dense, a little rounded, where the Artiste brushes are totally flat. And I see I'm losing a couple hairs, or there's just a couple long hairs here. So I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to like swirl this in there because then I'll be like, whoa! Ooh, that's pretty nice. Blending, blending, blending. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I must say, it feels, my skin feels really nice. None of this feels too cakey. It really just blends it into your skin and it really thins it out to where. I have quite a bit of makeup on, but I'm like, I feel natural. I don't feel cakey. So really nice color here, not too bright or bold. That picked up quite a bit of product. This is pigmented blush, so I'm a little scared. Wish me good. So I'm gonna start back here. I get the most pigment there, and then gently blend it out. Dang, I'm like super impressed with this. Putting some concealer on the back of my hand and working it into this brush. I I'm just going to kind of carve this out just a little bit. Keeping track of what brushes I've used for what is probably the trickiest part. Going back in with just a little tiny bit of that tart powder and setting that up. There. A little bit more defined. I'm really nervous about doing eyes because these brushes are really different than anything I've used before. <sighs> Freaking out. I just put on my Too Faced set Shadow Insurance and here's a little Trick. I actually went up over my brows because I'm planning to do a powder brow. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go in with my Moodstruck Addiction Palette 1. I'm going to pick up the skin tone to set my entire eye area. Put like no pressure at all. Grips around your eyeball, which sounds so weird, but it really it just grips around the eye. Your actual eyeball. Outward. I don't like this. Go in with the other one, which is very similar. This one I was just using has a flat end. This one is rounded here. I'm try to get into my crease a little bit more. This is nice for getting into the crease until you get right here, and then it's really strange and hard to fit in there. I don't recommend these for eyeshadow. Let me zoom in so you can see the fallout. Do you see how much fallout I have? Oh, my God. It's kind of nice for smoking out the lash line, but I would say the smaller one would work better because look at how far it came out. This is not going well. Like this is causing me stress right now. Used a mixture of chipper 
and forthright the two matte browns in this palette to actually do my eyes. I'm going to cover my new dress. My gosh, it's not going well here right now. <laughs> The only thing that's hard about these bristles is they're not super stiff and so I'm so scared I'm going to go way off course without even meaning to because you cannot hardly press at all where they start to bend and go different directions. If you use a careful hand, it's not terrible. I'm not hating it. It's not terrible. This little one is very handy. Now I want to do my highlight. I'm going to try using a gold highlight by Colourpop in Wisp. Very pretty. I'm going to use that same brush I concealed with. I'm nervous because these are so dense. I don't, oh my gosh, they're so dense. Like, look at what it did. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm going to kind of tap it out first. It. it really blended that out really nicely. Now, just to add another layer of makeup to my face, I'm going to go with my Jaclyn Hill palette. My camera's really mad at me right now. Now I'm gonna go with my lips and then my look is complete. Is it clashing with the gold eyes or is it going with it? My look is completed. I've used every single brush, which I did not think I'd be able to accomplish, but I did it. Woo! The crowd roars. I have on like 90 layers of makeup. I really enjoyed these brushes. There were a few negative moments in my use of these brushes, but overall I love them. All of the large toothbrush shaped brushes are great. The large one was actually really nice for powder. I think you could do a really great all over powder foundation. It worked nicely for setting powder. I think a regular brush is a little bit better for setting powder, but for liquid foundation, awesome. For concealer, awesome. For contouring, awesome. For bronzing, eh, I think a regular brush is better for bronzing when it comes to eyes. A couple of these will work so well for smoking out the lower lash line, for smoking out the top lash line, for doing the eyebrows, but regular brushes beat these by far for doing any sort of all over eyeshadow. And it took me forever. I have so much fallout, it's not even funny. You saw the freak out. So no go for eyeshadow. You cannot buy these brushes in pieces. You do get the full set. So I have seen people using the two round ones for lipstick and it seemed to work pretty well so I might give that a go and see if I can use them that way but really for $29 I really enjoyed these brushes and this stand though if you're gonna get this spend the $11 for this stand it is so worth it look how handy that is I truly love the way my makeup looks it really was very convenient for applying my face makeup having it facing towards me instead of holding way out here trying to apply it really enjoyed it really like these brushes i'll find the shop i got them from on amazon and put it below i mean really highly cool addition to any makeup collection and pretty to set out when i bought these actually my husband said to me did you buy those really expensive brushes he kind of freaked out he had a moment if you have any questions about this video or any of my other beauty beliefs please let me know Thank you for stopping in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. We have so much fun here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and here. I love to chat with you guys and get to know you. So thank you for being a part of my channel. And as always, you guys, please, more than ever, try to stay positive. Because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.